playing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But we can combine mobs with elements. So, for example, if I spawn in a villager and I throw our custom water elemental potion on it like this, then it will transform into a crazy water monster. And as the video goes on, the potions get stronger, meaning the mobs are going to get crazier and crazier. And anyway, Sparky, are you ready to get this elemental mob battle? And anyway, Sparky, are you ready to get this elemental mob battle started? Oh, yes, I am, Cardi. My mobs are going to have some crazy elements combined into them. We will. We'll see about that. And anyways, let's get this thing started. And now that the mob battle's officially begun, we can actually start off by cheating with this one-way glass wall. And this is gonna allow us to see exactly what Sparky spawns in. And ooh, look at this. He's actually spawning in a bunch of little monkeys everywhere. These guys are super cool looking and they look really funny when they run around. And I wonder which element Sparky's gonna choose. And it looks like he might actually be throwing the fire potion. Oh, so I guess he's gonna make some fire monkeys. That actually sounds pretty Pretty cool. Let's see what these guys turn into. And boom, the transformation has occurred. And oh my gosh, look at these things. And wait, what is even going on? It looks like they're just setting the entire arena to fire and doing crazy explosions. And look, they're all even chasing after Sparky. This is so funny. Okay, well, this actually is pretty bad for us considering Sparky has a pretty strong fire monkey army. So we're gonna have to choose an even better element to counter these guys. And I think the mob I want to start off with is actually a zombie. And I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not gonna start off with a trash zombie. I'm gonna start off with a mutant zombie. Listen, I am not going easy on Sparky this round. We are going to completely decimate his army. But even though we have a super strong mutant zombie, we gotta choose one of these elements. And we could choose the water element, which might work pretty well at putting these guys fire out. But as you can see, there is just so much fire on Sparky's side, so that might actually not be a good idea. So instead, I think we should use the earth potion so we can completely smother all of this fire and put it out like that. So you know what time it is. Let's get my earth potion in my hand and muted zombie. Are you ready to turn it into a crazy earth element? Well, you better be because I'm throwing this thing. And boom, we now have ourselves a nice earth muted zombie. And oh my goodness gracious, look at this guy. So I guess it turned his body into actually some oak logs. And that makes sense because oak logs are part of the earth. And wait, what is this up here? It looks like it maybe transformed that zombie head into a skeleton head. And now it's inside some sort of glass chamber. Well, while this guy looks cool, we're gonna test if he's actually powerful. So let's go in survival mode. And uh, what is this guy doing? And wait, why did he just spot in a bunch of little babies? Uh, okay, these guys are honestly pretty cute. But oh, oh, they're biting me. Ouch, 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 stop biting me. Okay, let's test out this big guy's attacks. What can he do? And oh, it looks like he's just spotting in more babies. And oh my gosh, now he's attacking attacking me and all oh, this does so much damage and I am already dead. Okay, well this is actually really good because this means we have a super crazy mob for this first round and wait, what just happened? Okay, I was just talking and I blew up at those blocks everywhere. Okay, I guess this guy has crazy explosion attacks too. And oh yeah, he definitely does. There's just blocks flying everywhere. Let's go. We have such a powerful mob for this first round. And of course, he can even summon in his own minions, which is probably going to help him do a lot more damage. And anyways, Sparky, how is your army going on this first round? Oh, Cardi, my army is doing great. I think I have a pretty spicy army if you catch my drift, Cardi. Wait, what? A spicy army? That must mean you used the fire potion, am I right? I might have, I might have. Well, I used the earth potion, and the fire and earth elements are both pretty even, so this should actually be a very fun round to watch. All right, help my mob set your mob on fire. All right, then, let's start this thing in three, two, one, let's... Let's go, and boom, the walls have dropped it. Do you see my massive mob? Hey, it just looks like a, a tree with arms. I don't think he's gonna kill my imps. Look, look at them. Oh, you are so wrong about that, because now he's doing some super crazy attacks where he attacks your mobs. And look, he just summoned in a bunch of little minions. Oh, well, Cardi, the thing is, your mob's made of wood, and he's on fire right now, so I think I might win this. Oh, that is actually a pretty good point, but since he is super big and way bigger than your 
mobs. I think he can tank a little bit of damage. And oh, there we go. Now my mob's doing its special attack where it slams the ground and does a bunch of blocks and makes him fly everywhere. Oh my gosh, Carter, your mob's insane. I know, your little fire monkeys do not stand a chance. Come on, finish him off. Oh, come on. Just don't die. And oh, this is not looking good for you because there's only one of your mob left and it's getting attacked by all the little minions. Yes. No, he got, he got pushed off, Cardi. That was very sad for you, but I just won round number one, meaning we need to move on to round two now. Are you ready? Oh, I sure am, Cardi. Let's go. Let's go. And boom, now we're on round number two. But don't leave because the mobs get crazier and crazier as the video goes on. So you have to stick around to see these things. Let's just get on to the second round right away and see what Sparky's gonna spawn. And oh, would you look at that? It looks like he's spawning in a mutant snow golem. Now, if you guys didn't know, mutant snow golems are way stronger than normal snow golems because they can actually throw ice. But I wonder which element Sparky's gonna choose. So let's look at his hand and get a good look at that potion. And oh, it looks like he's holding the water potion. Wait, I wonder why he's choosing water because water actually melts snow. So this might not turn out too good for Sparky, but I guess let's just see what happens. He's throwing the potion. And boom, the transformation has occurred. And oh my goodness. Okay, it basically did just melt that whole snow golem. And this thing is just a big water monster now. And wait, look, it just killed Sparky. Wait, why did it do that? And wait, what? It just spawned in a big water ball. And wait, what are all those water particles doing? Okay, Sparky is trying to run for his life, but I have no idea what's happening. Oh man, this guy is deadly. We are going to have to get a good counter to completely destroy this guy. So about the elements, I'm not sure which potion I'm gonna want to choose. So let's just spawn in our mob first and then we'll choose. And since Sparky spawned himself in a mutant snow golem, I think we should also spawn ourselves in a mutant mob. I'm gonna spawn in a mutant skeleton. Now this is actually pretty cool because last round I had a mutant zombie and this round I have a mutant skeleton. And of course, this guy has a giant mutant bow, which is gonna be able to allow him to do some very powerful ranged attacks against this giant man of water. But now it's time to ask ourselves the question, which of these elemental potions should we choose to throw onto this guy? Now, Sparky's mob is, of course, made of water. So I guess the only thing that can really counter water is actually just earth again, because earth will just cover up water like that and basically smother it just like earth smothers water. So I know we used the earth potion last time, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to use it again if that's what we need to do to win this round. So let's see what sort of earth elemental mutant skeleton we can get. Let's throw this thing. And uh, wait, I just threw the potion in. Where did the mob go? And, uh, oh, that's where the mob went. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. What did that even turn into? So, I mean, it's still a skeleton, but it has three skeleton heads now. And it also has the body of a worm. Oh, that makes sense because I threw the earth potion onto it. It turned into some sort of earthworm, and this thing can actually dig under the ground, as you guys just saw, and completely hide from any mob that's trying to attack it. Well, let's test this thing's attacks. Let's go in survival mode, and oh, I can see it already going under the ground to chase me. And wait, is it like spitting red stuff at me? What is that? Wait, let's get close to it to see how much damage it does. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Skeleton Worm. Are you friendly at all? That is not friendly. This thing is super crazy, and wait, what is happening? Why is there green stuff under me? And wait, I'm just taking poison damage. Ew, did it just like a barf on me or something? I just died from some poison under me. Okay, this is actually really, really cool. So I guess this thing has a really cool barf spit attack, which it can spit onto you and basically just destroy the ground under you and make a giant sinkhole of poisonous toxic waste. Well, this guy is definitely very, very strong and we should definitely be able to win this mob battle round. But we haven't checked up in Sparky in a while, so let's see what he's doing and what on earth. Did he just turn his entire arena into an ocean and build a little island? Okay, I guess that makes sense considering his mob is made out of water. Anyway, Sparky, how is your mob army going? Oh, my army is doing great. I have a very cool water elemental. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. You have water this time. Well, I use the earth potion again. Oh, okay. And wait, why do I hear so much water placed on your side? Did you make some sort of ocean? Yeah, I, I guess it would be fitting to make my entire arena an ocean because my mob is pretty watery. Yeah, I guess that makes sense considering you did use the water potion. But anyways, if you're ready and I'm ready, are you ready to drop the walls to see whose mob is stronger? I sure am. Let's do this, Cardi. And boom, the walls have dropped and oh, our mob battle's a 
about to begin. It is, Cardi. Do you see my mob? It can literally go under the ground, and it's just a giant bone worm. Yeah, and oh my gosh, what is my mob doing? He's just standing there. You shouldn't have made your guy an ocean, because I think he just wants to stay in this. So I'm just going to kind of push this guy over towards my mob. And all right, now we can actually see this mob battle start. Come on, giant mutant skeleton. You got this. Oh, please don't drink my mob. I know he's made of water, but he's not drinkable, Mr. Worm. Oh, that's a good point. What if my mob actually did drink your mob? That would be super funny. Yeah, it'd be bad for me, though, Cardi, because I would lose. Yeah, that would be bad. And I'm actually hoping my mob does his special attack because you see this hole right here, Sparky? Yeah, I see it. Inside of this is actually nuclear waste. And my mob can spawn this in. So if my mob spawns this in on your mob, it's going to be an instant win for me, basically. Oh, no, Cardi. But uh, my mob's health bar actually is pretty full. So I don't think he, I, I, I might have a chance of losing. Yeah, your mob isn't taking that much damage. This is not good. Come on, skeleton. Do something crazy. And oh, oh, speaking of doing something crazy, it just did its crazy attack. And look at all this nuclear waste. Oh, my gosh, Cardi. This is nuts. But my mob's actually... Oh, no. He's taking damage. Oh, no. Yeah, now your mob is starting to take damage. And uh, Sparky, I think your mob might have just died. Wait, what? How did that happen right in front of our eyes? I don't know. Uh, I, I think your mob might have actually drank my mob. Yeah, I think he did drink it, too. And look, he's just kind of dying. I think he's standing on his own toxic waste right now. Oh, he's having a stomach ache. Okay, Cardi. Okay, maybe we should reset the arena and move on to round three. Are you ready? Yes, I am, Cardi. Let's go. And now we are on round number three. And once again, our potions have gotten even stronger. Meaning this thing is just getting started. You guys have to stick around to see the craziest mob battles ever. But before we get to spawning in our mob, like always, we're going to cheat with this one-way glass and see what Sparky's going to spawn in. And, uh, what is he doing? Why is he spawning in silverfish? Silverfish are probably the worst hostile mob in Minecraft. I mean, seriously, I don't even think these guys do half a heart of damage. I think they are literally so weak that they take like an hour to kill somebody. Well, I wonder which potion Sparky is going to throw onto these guys. And it looks like Sparky's actually holding himself a nice potion. And what element is that? And oh, I know what that is. That's the wind potion. Wait a second. The wind potion when thrown onto a mob will make the mob able to fly. And that'll basically make some flying silverfish. Wait, I wonder what these guys are gonna look like. Well, I guess we're gonna find out he's throwing the potion. And oh my gosh, what did these guys turn into? Okay, these are definitely not silverfish anymore. They're like dinosaurs. And wait, what is that? One of them's carrying a zombie with his little feet. What is going on? And wait, one of them's carrying a creeper. Oh, you better be careful with that. That thing's gonna explode. Well, since these guys came from a silverfish, I couldn't imagine they do too much damage. But still, there is a lot of these guys. And considering that they can fly, this is not good for me at all. And look at this. They're all attacking Sparky right now. And oh, that creeper just blew up. I told you guys you gotta watch out for that creeper. But anyways, now let's move on to spawning in our mob. And I think for this round, I just want to spawn in a bunch of different kinds of mobs. And that way, we'll actually have a mob army. Like, legitimately a massive army. So let me just spawn in a bunch of zombies, a bunch of skeletons. Let's even spawn in some doggies and some zombified piglins. Now, look at this army. This is super, super strong. And wait, these dogs are all attacking the skeletons. Hey, you guys are supposed to be on the same team. Okay, I don't know why they're attacking each other, but I guess let's just get our potion ready and throw it on these guys. And the potion I'm gonna choose is the water potion, because I want to see if we can get some sort of snow army. And using the snow army, hopefully we'll be able to freeze those little flying birds on Sparky's side. So I guess let's just figure out if this is gonna work. I placed down a bunch of snow just so the mod knows I want a snow army. And now let's throw this water potion and see what crazy army we get. And boom, look at what just happened. We just turned all those different little creatures into a bunch of crazy snowy winter mobs. And oh my gosh, look at this. So I guess those skeletons turned into these guys. The wolves I spawned turned into these crazy alpha mutant wolves. And then we even got some knights riding horses. I didn't even spawn horses. Why is there horses here? And we even have some crazy mutant snowy spiders. And wait a second. Did it literally just start snowing? What on earth? Okay, this is so cool. The arena's even turning to snow right now. Uh, Sparky, do you see snow on your side? Yeah, Curry, I was gonna ask, uh, did you make a snow mob? Yes, I have a lot and a lot of snow mobs. And I guess they just made it start snowing for some reason. Oh, no, Cardi. I have a bunch
bunch of flying mobs, and I don't think they like the snow. Well, Sparky, I guess we just gotta get this mob battle started if you're ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, then. Let's drop the walls. Let's do this. And boom, everything is dropped, and the battle is now beginning. Oh, my gosh. We have so many mobs, Cardi. Is this legal? Yes, it is, Sparky. I just spawned in so, so many mobs. And wait, where are all of your mobs right now? I think they died. Oh, my gosh. They just outnumbered them. Oh, my gosh. You're right. Look at on the floor. There's just a bunch of wings from your mobs. Oh, that is so sad. Wait, there's only one left. And oh, never mind. Oh, I just saw that guy. He just got decimated within like a few seconds. How did you spawn in such a weak mob, Sparky? I didn't know there'd be so many of these things here. I thought I'd just go against like one giant mob. Well, Sparky, it looks like we both had a giant army of mobs. And anyways, are you ready to move on to round four of this elemental mob battle? Oh, I sure am, Cardi. Let's do this. And now we're on round four, meaning once again, our mobs have gotten even stronger. Let's not waste any time. Let's just see what Sparky's gonna spawn in. And, uh, did he literally just spawn in a whale? Oh my gosh, this thing is so big. But because it's not in water, it's literally drowning right now. Okay, do not do this in real life or else you are going to kill a whale. It looks like he might even be writing a sign. And it looks like on this sign, he wrote Yar Ship Booty. And oh, I think he wants to try and turn this into some sort of pirate ship whale. Because I don't know why he would want to write pirate words on that sign. But I wonder which elemental potion he's gonna choose. And it looks like he's holding the water element potion. Well, that's what I used last time. So I guess we're gonna see what this guy turns turns into. Let's go! And boom, it worked and oh my goodness, look at this whale now! Okay, so I guess that water elemental potion Sparky threw actually turned this whale into a pirate ship whale. And that does make sense because pirate ships are on the water. And also it did make a giant little pond for this guy. So that way he's not just gonna drown on the surface. This guy looks super happy. But since there's a pirate ship on this guy, he probably has some cannon ranged attacks. So we're gonna need some something very powerful to counter this guy. Let's get to spawning in a mob. And I think for the mob I want to start off with, I actually want to start off with a mutant zombie again. Now, I know I started off with this guy in the first round, but I have a way better combination for this mob that might be able to counter this whale mob almost perfectly. And the potion I'm gonna throw on this is actually not just a single potion. I'm gonna throw the fire potion on it, but not only that, I'm also gonna throw the water potion on it at the same time. And that way, we might be able to get some sort of super crazy water and fire combination mob. And this thing is just gonna be so powerful, it'll be able to swim in the water and do fire attacks. So let's not waste any time. Let's just throw both these potions at the same time, please. Work! And oh yes, that definitely worked. Look at what this mutant zombie is now. This is a frost magma mob, and as you can see, it takes the elements of both fire for its body and head and water to make its legs and spikes of ice all over it its body. And look at all these water particles coming off of it too. This is very very cool looking. Well, let's go in survival mode and see what this guy can do. And oh, would you look at that? He's dropping ice spikes on me and he's even turning part of the arena to ice. And oh man, this is dangerous. All these ice spikes are landing directly on my head. And wait, what? Did it just summon a fire tornado in? Oh, this is not good. I'm on fire right now and I just died. That is very powerful. And yeah, I don't think we're gonna need to test our mob's attacks anymore because this guy is definitely strong enough to take down this pirate ship whale. And speaking of the pirate ship whale, Sparky, how is your army going on the fourth round? Oh, Cardi, my army is doing great. I have another water mob. Ooh, a water mob? Okay, well, I have a... I, I guess I do have a water mob, too, but I also have another element mixed in. Ooh, okay. I wonder how... I wonder what kind of element it is. Well, you are about to find out when the walls drop in three, two, one. Let's go and... Oh, my mob's already attacked your whale. Whoa, is that water and fire? That's crazy. And what that allows him to do is swim in the water towards your whale. Come on, whale, do anything. You're sitting there. Oh, the reason your whale's sitting here is because my mob actually froze it in ice. Aw, oh, come on, that's not nice. You gotta at least give him some room to breathe. You can't break that, Sparky. That's cheating, and my mob's just gonna spawn in even more. No! And boom, 
just like that. I just won the mob battle. I thought your mob had more health than that. Oh, uh, I think he was burned too much. Yeah, my mob got way too close, and that magma probably made him way too hot to be alive. Probably. Well, anyways, now that I just won four rounds in a row, that means we have to move on to the final round, and if you don't win this next round, I win the whole mob battle, Sparky. Oh, uh, okay, Cardi. I have to try to win this time. All right, let's do this. Let's go. And now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Our mobs are about to be the strongest that they've ever been in the entire mob battle. And I have something super, super crazy planned, so you guys are gonna have to see this. But let's just see what Sparky's gonna spawn. And it looks like he's building himself a nice little iron golem. And yeah, there we go. He just spawned in an iron golem. Now, these guys are normally pretty strong, because they can basically one-shot zombies and skeletons. But wait, why did he just plant a tree next to it? Hmm, maybe he's gonna try and make some sort of tree golem, and let's see what potion he's choosing. And oh yeah, I think I'm right. That's the earth potion. So if he throws that, it should combine the tree and the iron golem into a tree monster. Let's see if this works. He's throwing it. And boom, the transformation has occurred, and check this guy out. Now, this guy honestly does look pretty strong and powerful, and he's kind of just sitting on top of the tree. Look at that, but this is the final round. And considering Sparky only has one wooden monster for the final round, he is definitely gonna lose. Because like I said, I have an absolutely crazy mob I'm gonna make. So let's just get to it. Let me spawn in my mob. And the mob I'm actually gonna spawn in is just a villager. Now you might be saying this is very, very newbie. There is no way a villager is gonna be able to take down a giant oak monster. Well, let me just prove you guys wrong. What I'm gonna do is throw every single elemental potion onto this guy. So anyways, let's just throw all these potions on it like this. Fire, water, earth, and wind. Please work. And oh my gosh, this definitely worked. Look at what this turned into. Uh, I don't really know what this is. I mean, I guess it just took the villager body and made it into snakes or something. Or why there's a bunch of snakes coming out this thing's head. But if you guys know the name of this monster, maybe just comment it down below to help me out. Because I have no idea what this thing is and I bet it has a super cool name. So yeah, just comment that, guys. But anyways, my mob army is now ready. So Sparky, how's your army going? Oh, Cardi, my army is doing great. Great. I have what has to be one of the most powerful beings in all the lands. Wait, the most powerful beings in all of the land? Wait, then why do I hear like wood on your side? There is no way that's powerful. It is because wood is the strongest material in the entire universe. Nothing can break wood. Okay, well, I guess we'll figure out about that, Spark. You even to drop the walls. Oh, I sure am. Let's do this, Cardi. Let's do this. And, uh, Sparky. I thought there would be more to it than that. Wait, I think my mob just turned your mob to stone, and wait, why is there a pig in stone here? This is not even your mob. I, I know, I, 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 I think he's dead. Yeah, Sparky. I don't see any of your mobs alive, and this pig definitely isn't alive. I think that pig was just kind of dressed up in a costume. Oh, ah, uh, Cardi. I think I think your mob is just the strongest. Yeah, I think so too. Let's go. I just won the mob battle. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video, and make sure to click the video on the screen and subscribe. Click the video on the screen. Bye.